quiet, please? Quiet, please. Imagine you stumble upon a book in a bookstore. Remember those? That can summon a demon to teach you all the secrets of evil in the world. Would you do it? Would you be any good at it? Foley Mara Studios presents Quiet Please, which is written by Willis Cooper and directed by Chuck and Megan Mara. Quiet Please for tonight is called Dark Gray Magic. Yes, 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 I'll be there. Yes, I said. I'm here. Yes? Hello? Yes? Uh, this is Mr. Barleycorn. Uh, who did you... Whom did you think it was? Well, this is my room. I'm not in the habit of having people in my room when I'm not here. No, there's nobody in my room. Uh, what? Yes, I'm in my room. But there's nobody in my room except me. All right. Any calls for me? But uh, no calls. Well, all right. Well, hang up and let me sit down. All right. Oh, my heavens, I'm exhausted. I ought to call Lumen. Get me Grand Mercy nine one zero four four. Yes. I'm exhausted. Hello, uh, Mr. Lumen Crippenden, please. Oh. Lumen, it's you. I didn't recognize your voice, Lumen. Uh, how are you? No, oh, I'm just exhausted. I've just had the most extraordinary experience. It, while I was waiting for a Madison Avenue bus there on 4th Avenue, it, you, you know, right across from the Wanamakers where the subway station limited and the streetcar is? Don't you know? Well, I was waiting there for a Madison Avenue bus. You know all those second-hand bookstores along 4th Avenue? They have the paperbacks, six for 50 cents. Oh, wait a minute, Lumen, there's somebody at the door. Always somebody interrupts my call. Well? Well, who did that? But it's those kids again. Oh, it wasn't anybody, Lumen, not even some kid or something. Uh, hello? Lumen? Lumen, are you there? Hello, Lumen! Wouldn't that be somebody cut us off? Hello! Hello, office. Hello, you cut us off. Well, you did too. Get me Grand Mercy 91044 again. Now, wait a minute. I thought there was somebody at the door again. Grand Mercy 91044, and make it snappy too. Damn kids at the door again. Hello? Uh, hello, Lumen. And we were cut off, weren't we? So I went to the door. Yes? I know. Well, I was waiting for the... Oh, yes, yes, I did say that, didn't I? What about the second-hand books? Oh, I bought a book. Yes, I did. Uh, Forty-five cents. You guess. No. 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 You give up? Magic. No, 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 not, not card tricks. Magic. Real magic. Black magic. Just like real. Sure. I nearly broke my neck on the way home. <laughs> so, walking along, reading, after I got off the Madison Avenue bus, I fell over a cat. Cat. C-A-T, cat. Black as the ace of spades. And wouldn't that freeze you? Oh, but that isn't anything. Somebody followed me. Oh, wait a minute. I wonder if that could have been him at the door. Do you suppose? <laughs> no, it's that little Yussel Silverman that lives down the hall. Always wants to sell me cigars. Cigars! Well, I haven't the faintest idea where he gets them. I think he filters them from somewhere, the little dickens. No, wait, Lumen. I want to read to you from the magic book. 
Oh, but it's fabulous, Lumen. Hey, you want to know how to give people warts? I suppose not. Wait, how to ride a broom? Uh, oh, that's for girls, isn't it? Uh, oh, wait. How to make ready spirits appear from beyond the veil? Oh boy, listen to this. If thou wouldst raise up a naughty spirit to teach thee all the secrets of evildom, thou must need... Oh, oh. oh wait a minute, Lumen. Got a cramp in my leg. Wait till I sit down. <clears throat> must need... Oh, for goodness sakes, just listen to this. Thou must need first stumble unawares over a catty. That's spelled C-A-T-T-E, Lumen. A catty of the blackest hue. Imagine, Lumen. But I did trip over the black catty. Oh, wait, listen to this. Over a black catty... Uh, cat, whilst thou dost read the 40th page of this e-bookie. Uh, let's look at page 40. Don't let your dinner sit, it won't run away. 37, 38, 39, ah, 40. Well, I'll be jiggered. I'll be absolutely, comprehensively, teetotally jiggered. It's better than coincidence, Lumen. That, that, that's the very page I was... Lumen? Do you smell anything? No, oh, that's right. I can you smell over the telephone. I... I smell something, though. I smell something burning. I... Goodness, you suppose it's brimstone? Are you listening? Well, well, wait till I find my place again. Here. Then must thou place thy left thumb from thy right, and here, and close thy left eye and say, Honorify... <laughs> miss, what a word. Honorify Kabili... Oh, for the love of St. Francis, did you ever hear a word like that? <clears throat> Honorify Kabili Tutti... <clears throat> Here we are. Honorify Kabili Tutti Mikado. What did you say, Lumen? Explo explosion? I didn't hear anything. Oh, no, they must be blasting in the street or something. Sakes, there's somebody at the door. Oh, wait, wait a minute, Lumen. Damn little Yussel Silverman again to get a cookie. Well, I'm right here. What? Hello. Well, hello yourself. What do you want? Are you Mr. Meredith Bilicorn? I certainly am. Who are you? You're not Yussel Silverman. No, sir. May I come in, please? Well, come in. Thanks. Well? <laughs> <laughs> All right, little girl, what's so funny? I'm no little girl, Mr. Barleycorn. What? Meredith. You ain't a girl. I am not. Oh, you get out of here, you little devil. That's better. How? Oh, stop being such a silly fool, Meredith. You just called me, didn't you? Called you? Idiot. You tripped over a cat, a black cat, and you were reading the, uh, the book, and then you said the word. Go finish your phone conversation with Lumen Christendon, Meredith. Then you and I'll talk. But I... Talk? E yes, ma'am. Hello, Lumen. Yeah, th there was somebody at the door. Yes? No, no I, I'm not scared, Lumen. I, I just... Meredith. <sighs> Wait a minute, Lumen. Yes? Who is this a picture of? On the desk? Well, why, that's Lumen. Oh, is it? Lumen. Yeah. Well, what's that? A pin. Pin? Uh, just a second, Lumen. You're going to put the pin in Lumen's picture, Meredith. What? What for? Just for fun. Here. Right here in his fat stomach. There. Hello? Sorry, Lumen. The little lady was... What did you say? Lumen? Hello, Lumen. Hey, Lumen? No, Lumen, Lumen, where... Lumen, where are you? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Well, you learned your first lesson fine, Meredith. Hmm? Huh? Why, you wanted to learn all the secrets of evil, didn't you, Meredith? Uh, so you stuck a pin right through Lumen's big fat stomach. You murdered him. Sure, Meredith. You did everything the book said. You called me to teach you evil, boy. You got a life start. <laughs> Murder. What do we try next? You decide. 
I c- killed a woman. You put the pin through his stomach. How many you heard of that? Voodoo, they call it sometimes. Works fine, doesn't it, Meredith? I killed him? Sure. Oh, oh my. Why, why, you murderous, horrible, evil little devil. Aw, thank you, Meredith. Excuse me. Hello? 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 What? Lumen! Huh? Lumen, oh, I, I thought you were dead. You what? Stomach ache? What's that? Oh, you're not dead, Lumen, oh. Lumen, I... Me? Matter with me? Why? Lumen, I... I I'm so happy. <laughs> Uh, I'm awfully sorry, Meredith. I don't know what could have happened. It's always worked before. Oh, well, better luck next time, I always say. Uh, who do you want to murder now? You got any more pictures? I want to know who you are. Oh, excuse me. My name is Dodge. I'm a demon. So you'll just get right out of here, you demon. I won't do it. Do you better? I won't do it. You called me, and here I am. Come on, what do you want to learn? I don't want to learn a thing. What can you learn me? I mean, t teach me. All the evil magic in the universe, Meredith. Really? There are 64 ways of murdering people by magic, Meredith. 64? My. I'll show you how to produce an earthquake. Uh, fires. Floods. Sicknesses. Start wars. Rob people. Oh, I, I guess not. Thanks. Turn people into fishworms. I don't think so. Bust radios? No, thanks. Well... Let people jump out a window. Very interesting. Bodge? Uh, dodge? Dodge. That's right. D-O-J. You're a mean little cookie. Thanks. How old are you? A uh, couple of minutes. Well, you don't look it. In some of my forms, I do. Forms? I might turn into different things. Oh. Evil things. My spats. Platypuses. Great big spiders, sarcastic fringe heads. I... Well, like a fish, way down at the bottom of the ocean. Very horrible. I imagine. Well, come on, let's murder somebody. Let's make somebody jump off the Empire State Building, huh? Can you really do that? I can. I'll teach you how. Really? How? Easy. Think of somebody. Lumen. Uh, okay. Okay. Now say after me, hibbity bibbity. Hibbity bibbity. Sibbity sab. Sabbity sib. Jump. Jump. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, I was thinking of Lumen. <laughs> <laughs> he jumped. Bye bye, Lumen. <laughs> you got him that time, Meredith. I, I don't believe it. You wait and see. Just because I said hibbity bibbity sabbity sib? Sure. <laughs> Did you say Sabbity Sib? Sure, uh, Sabbity Sib. Ah, uh, you half wit, Sibbity Sab. I thought that's what I said. You said it backwards. <phone rings> Answer it. Yes. Oh, hello, Lumen. You see? Ah, oh, fooey. I can't. I, I can't hear you well, Lumen. What's all the noise? The what? People, what, what people? Trying to get into what phone booth? Oh, for goodness sakes, where are you, Lumen? Where? On top of the Empire State Building? How in the world did you get? You what? You jumped up there. Oh, Meredith. You're the dumbest man I ever saw. You and your sabbaty sib. You know what? That's the first good thing I've done in 2,708,202 years. Five months and nine days. And I could cut your heart out for it. With a butter knife. Well, Lumen's happy in Hollywood. My gracious, getting $1,000 a week in that new picture. The man who jumps over the Empire State. He didn't jump over it. Well... You know, Hollywood. Come on. Time to learn how to poison dogs. Mm, I don't think I want to learn how to poison <laughs> dogs. Uh, Dodge. Uh, I wonder how Lumen's doing. We could poison him. It's easy. Look. I hope he's happy. Yeah, he's happy, all right. The jerk. Hope Desio's happy, too. 
Who's Desio? Lumen's husband. Huh. <laughs> Man. Hey, let's burn down a schoolhouse. Uh, no. Just the four alarm fire. I don't want to mess with the kids, but little Yussel Silverman. Well, let's burn down his schoolhouse. I'll show him. I should say not. It's easy. No, I wouldn't want to give a lot of kids that kind of break, burning down their schoolhouse. I think I'll write Lumen a letter. Let me show you how to put a strangles germ in it. What's a strangles? Uh... Some kind of disease horses get. I know how to give it to people. Come on, I'll put in a handful in the letter, and maybe his husband will get it and he'll turn green. Oh, heavens, no! Ugh. I wish you wouldn't say heaven. It makes me all icky. I wouldn't want Desio to get... Whatever it is. No? No. Oh. Are you in love with Lumen's husband? I was once. Oh, you were? Uh, madly. I see. But he's married to Lumen. I was heartbroken and still am. I see. Well, uh, can you cross your little finger over the next one? I guess so. Sure. See? Both hands. Sure. See? Can you say Obadelbach? Obadelbach? I guess so. Obadelbach. <laughs> Why? Say it again. Why? Three times. Go on. Obadelbach. What was that? <laughs> a spell. Spell? What? A spell to bring back a lost love, Meredith. That's so? Is that so? You were in love with Lumen's husband. It fits now. That Lumen. What are you talking about? Somebody at the door, Meredith. Who's that? Meredith? Oh, Meredith, darling. That's Desio's voice. Sure. What have you done to me? I didn't do anything, Meredith. You said Obadeldak. Meredith, uh, sweetheart, are you in there? Come in, Desio. Well... Meredith, darling. How did he... Now kiss me, Meredith. Mm. Now, Desio. Now, mm. Desio. Oh. Oh. I love you so much, Meredith. Now, wait, wait, wait a minute. I, I mean, Lumen. <laughs> oh, Lumen? <laughs> well, I've changed my mind, Meredith. It's you I love. Oh, my goodness. I sure do love you, Meredith. See, Meredith? Who's that little girl? Hey, buddy. Don't kid yourself. I'm no little girl. Well, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, standing there looking on a lover's meeting. I'm enjoying it, pal. Kiss him again. No! No! Oh, you talk to me, Meredith Barleycorn. I've got to love my husband for you. And I love you. So we just grin and bear it. You hear me? Just shut up, Desio. Oh, Meredith, you and me, we're going to be so happy. He's awful fat, Meredith. No, I just love with so much. But I don't like your apartment. You don't? <laughs> oh, honey, we're going to have to do something about it just the minute we get married. Married? Well, of course, Meredith, honey. But uh, what about Lumen, my, my friend? I don't bother Lumen. It's you I love. Now, Meredith, I want to know how much money you're making. I expect to be forwarded in the style I've got accustomed to since Lumen got a job in the movies. So, uh, how much money do you make? <laughs> He only makes $85 a week. I wish you would go away, little girl. Meredith, is that all you make? Yes, sir. Well, that's... That's something we'll have to take care of right away. Sweetheart. No, I wish you wouldn't call me sweetheart. Well, you are my sweetheart. I just love you to pieces. <laughs> no, 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 Desio. And another thing, Meredith... You have to go out with me and buy some new clothes. Ooh, that old suit. Oh, I, I like it, Desio. Now, I'm going to march you into a store and make you get the finest two-pound suit $22 will buy. $22? I'd never let Lumen pay more than $22 for a suit, did I? And you've got to get some well, new ties, darling. Now, why should that matter? Why shouldn't it? I want you to look like a young lover. Me? Nothing's too good for the man I love. Did you buy Lumen's ties too, Desio? I certainly did. And what's furthermore, I took one of his ties with me when I left. For you, darling. Oh, don't you just love those purple ducks on it? <sighs> hmm? My. Well, I'll be a... Oh, shut up, little girl. Ugh. It's such a lovely shade of green, too. 
And don't you just love the flames? 39 cents and worth every penny of a dollar more, too. Gracious. Fix my eyes. I just love it. Kiss me again, Meredith. I sure do love you, sugar. And, but what about Lumen, Desio? Oh, leave Lumen out of it. He can have his thousand dollars a week out there in Hollywood, laying around all those beaches in the sun. I mean, he never, he never do more than drive in and throw his money away in the shooting gallery. Gosh. Just what I say, honey doll. Now you and me, you'll work. Ooh, you'll work your fingers to the bone for your little Desio. Oh, uh, no. And Desio will make our little penthouse a real comfortable place. And every night when you come home, I'll cook liver and onions for you and rhubarb pie twice a week. I don't like liver and onions. You'll learn to like it, Meredith. I just adore it. I detest rhubarb pie. You'll love it. Mm, with chocolate ice cream, mmm. Where are you going, Dodge? Uh, I'm sick, Meredith. And you'll sit home and you'll play hearts every night and look at the television. No! Oh, Meredith. Meredith. Don't you want to please Desio? Desio, I do not. Why, Meredith? Desio loves you so much. Kiss, Desio. No! Meredith. No, sir, this is not... This has gone on far enough. Desio, I'm not gonna stand for it. Don't you love me, Sugar Plum? I do not. You are much too fat, for goodness sakes. And besides, you're Lumen's husband. But I love you, Meredith. Well, I don't care. You go back to Lumen. I won't. Well, you're just better. Now, Meredith, I... Uh, oh, 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 uh. What's the matter? There's a, a, a bug, a great big oh, green and oh, yellow bug. Where? Where? It's, uh, it's on my nose. Oh, do something, Meredith. Oh. Oh, now, stand still, Desio. Stand still. Uh. <gasps> oh. Meredith Barleycorn, you... You struck me. Well, I just tried to kill a bug. Nevertheless, you... You struck me. You are no gentleman. I tell you, I, I just... I'll thank you to shut up. Huh? I thought I loved you. But now, I know I don't want anything to do with a gentleman who strikes people on their noses. Wait, Desio, where are you going? I'm going home to Lumen. He loves me. Uh, Desio, wait. Don't you speak to me, you... You... Brute, you! Oh, <laughs> my goodness me! Oh, doesn't that just freeze you? Now, Desio, I and you give me back that necktie, you you, ugh, monster! Ah, oh, man! Dodge. Yeah. Where were you? Me? I was a bug. What? The green and yellow bug you were slapping at. Oh. Oh, the bug! Sure, I can change myself into things. See? Oh, my. I had to do something to get rid of him, so I turned myself into a bug. Well, you nearly got squashed. I jumped. Boy, you sure smashed his nose. <laughs> you know, I think I've had enough of you, too, Dodge. That's what you think, boy. You get out of here. Meredith, I can't. Well, you better. I'm a desperate man. You can't hurt me. You can, too. If you make a pass at me, Meredith, I'll, I'll change myself into an elephant. Or a chair. Or a horse or something. How? Look. Oh, my goodness. An elephant? See? Look. A teacup. Aha! I'll smash it! No, you don't. I'm still too fast for you, Meredith. Now, I came here because you called me here to teach you evil. You certainly made my life a misery. Oh, be reasonable, Meredith. If you'd let me teach you something, or if you weren't so dumb about doing things backwards, we could have a lot of fun together. Come on. I'll show you how to sink a battleship. Oh, I don't want to. I want you to go away. I can't go away. I'm going to be here forever. That's the rule. But I don't want you. You called me. Well, I didn't mean to. But you did. Come on. Let's practice disappearing. I don't want to disappear. Uh, assassinate the mayor of Brooklyn. Brooklyn hasn't got any mayor. Set off all the atom bombs in the world. Hoo-hoo! Boy, that'd be terrific. Listen, you just put your fingers in your ear. Will you stop? 
It's just an idea, Meredith. Don't you ever have any good ideas, Dodge? Well, I should say not. Say. Yes? Don't you ever have any bad ideas? Getting rid of you. No. That's not what you wanted the other day. The reverse can't be done. I told you. Please, go away. Let's change people into different things. No. Sure, Meredith. Uh, we could turn Lumen into a finger painting. Oh, Lumen's got troubles enough. Yeah, you're telling me. Look, let's change Desio into a pencil sharpener. Or a necktie. With orange cactus plants on it. With a light yellow background with green dots. And rhinestones. Come on. How? Uh, do you do it? <clears throat> you just stand on one foot and point and say what you want him to be. Is that all? Sure. It's easy. Maybe he could change himself back? Nope. Once they've changed, they're stuck for good. Good. Huh? Can I change you into something, dog? Me? <laughs> nah, of course not. When you can't change me, can you? Can you, Dodge? I know all you can do is teach me how to do things. Evil things. <laughs> you wouldn't change me into something, would you, pal? Well, you taught me how. No, Meredith. Sucked you in, didn't I? <laughs> I'll run away. You can't. You told me you couldn't. Please, Meredith. Oh, for my own good, Dodge. Don't say good, Meredith. Now, let me see now. A, a butterfly. No. Yesterday's newspaper. No. No, Meredith. A, a box of cigars. A, a cloud. I'll rain on you. I got you at last, Dodge. A little dog. I I'll bite you and give you hydrophobia. A fountain pen. I'll write poison pen letters about you. <gasps> I got it. What, Meredith? Come on, please, Meredith, please. Oh, yes. No, no. Oh, you'll like it, Dodge. No, Meredith, please. Dodge, I command you to... No, no, no! Stand still. I command you to become a... Hello? Who? Yes, hello, Lumen. What? Who? Dodge? Dodge, oh, yeah. Yes, Dodge. Right. I turned him into something. But yes, I know. No. No, I... I don't know, Lumen. Sure, Lumen. Goodbye. I don't know, Lumen's worried, but I... <laughs> I forgot what I turned him into! <laughs> and he's still loose! <laughs> 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 The title of today's Quiet Please story is Dark Gray Magic, which was written by Willis Cooper and directed by Chuck and Megan Mara. Meredith Barleycorn, the person who spoke to you, was played by Sam Keller. In Dodge the Demon was played by Kat Hammonds. And Desio was Ron Morehouse. This episode of Quiet Please was originally aired on May 1st, 1949 by American Broadcasting Company. This recreation of Quiet Please comes to you from Los Angeles and is produced by Foley Mara Studios. And so, until next week at this same time, I am quietly yours, Sam Keller.